Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are a great innovation with great upside for the future, at least in the longer term. Cryptocurrencies offer great benefits, especially for emerging markets. First, they are easy and free to transfer. It's essentially a piece of code that can be transferred over the internet or over mobile, which makes them especially relevant for emerging markets where payments and banking infrastructure is less developed. Second, uh, the potential usability and acceptance is great. Although at this stage, acceptance is relatively limited, um, the fact that they are instant, near easy to transfer, and near instant to transfer, makes them uh, a great uh, potential acceptable uh, currency for the future. And thirdly, cryptocurrencies are truly global because there's not a central country or a central bank that acts as a third party and sets policies for the currency. Um, they are really driven by supply and demand of individuals, which again makes them truly global um, as a currency. However, there are clear downsides, at least in the short term today. First, there's massive security risks. The fact that there's large sums of virtual currency, virtual money involved, attracts quite a lot of you know, criminal activity and quite a lot of security issues, uh, which we've recently seen in some of the breaches that have appeared uh, with some of the exchanges storing lots of value for Bitcoin. This is a critical issue that needs to be resolved. Second, the fact that it is anonymous, which is one of its benefits, also has attracted quite a lot of criminal activity. It makes it easy for you know, criminals to actually transfer large sums of money across the globe in an easy and anonymous manner. Again, creating quite a high risk for, um, for merchants and individuals alike. And thirdly, at this stage, because of those reasons, security risk, um, criminal activity, usability is limited. Acceptance is not very widespread yet. And the number of merchants that accept Bitcoin as a currency is quite limited, which of course limits its current uh, usability for individuals and merchants alike. So what is the future of cryptocurrencies and where is Bitcoin and other currencies um, going for the future? We think that um, there's lots of uh, issues to be resolved. There's lots of regulation that will need to be put in place to make sure that this can become a viable currency uh, for individuals and merchants to use. But we also think that there are priorities of what can happen first and what can happen later. I think the first um, issue that needs to get resolved is security. Um, our consumer banking survey and other surveys around the world show that the security risks are absolute priority for customers and consumers alike to get resolved. That's the case for banks today. It's the case for retailers which have had massive security breaches. It is the same for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Given the large sums of money and the different parties involved, this is one of the critical areas that needs to get resolved. Exchanges, mines, merchants that work with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies need to be secured. And that needs to be driven either by self-regulation or by regulation. Second, the fact that there's so much criminal activity related to uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies makes it very difficult for merchants and individuals to accept this as a viable currency. That criminal activity needs to be reined in. Trust and confidence uh, in this tool, in this current potential currency, needs to get uh, resolved. Um, that it needs to be a reputation and trust that is acceptable for individuals and merchants without getting into difficulties with regulators or uh, with governments. Um, that's a critical issue. And certainly um, elements of KYC, know your customer policies, need to be implemented to make sure that the level of criminal activity on the exchanges with the mines can actually be reduced. Thirdly, there's a lot of other regulatory uh, issues to be resolved. For example, tax regulation. How is tax going to be treated? At this stage, there's some initial initiatives by tax regulators, including the IRS in the US, that have taxed um, uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as property, not as a currency, which at least creates some clarity. 
but there's still a long way to go and many other regulatory issues and uh, contractual issues will need to get resolved over time. Nevertheless, we believe that um, in the long term, this has a great potential as long as these two key issues of security and know your customer or KYC um, get resolved in the short term.